Right now, Lonzo Ball, no real expectation. You'll see him. Has undergone two surgeries on his left knee. He's expected now to miss next season. It's so disheartening. I really can't run, can't run or jump. He's not coming back next season. Oh, Lord. I'm starting to see bust. In the 2017 NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select Lonzo Ball. I'm going to put a little pressure on you right now. There's some jerseys hanging on that wall. Expect a ball jersey hanging up there one day. His IQ on the court is, is it's incredible. He's more Jason Kidd. I've always said I know he's a great talent. 6'6", six, six, unbelievable transition. He does a great job running that team. Just leave me one or two records. Don't break all my records. Why did a once generational prospect fall so far? What did Magic Johnson, the greatest point guard in NBA history, once see in Lonzo Ball that compelled him to kindly ask, just leave me one or two of my records? Massive, gigantic words from a titan in basketball history and also incredibly unforgiving words when it comes to the pressure put on a teenage Lonzo Ball as he sat as a newly named All-American and also, a newly announced number two pick in the draft. Ready to begin his career as a 19-year-old who many believed was not only about to save the Los Angeles Lakers, take the torch from Kobe and etch his name among the Lakers greats, but also change the game of basketball at the point guard position. Because Lonzo Ball's package as a point guard was at the time revolutionary. 30-foot step back threes, dunks on people's heads to send a message, full court pass passes as if the man had eyes in the back of his head. At one point in time, it seems certain Lonzo Ball was going to be a superstar. Instead, Lonzo's career has been a roller coaster, one that has seen him seemingly fail with the Los Angeles Lakers as fans booed him after he bricked open three after three. And in many ways, these fans would prove themselves right as the Lakers would win a championship after using Lonzo as a trade piece. But in New Orleans, Lonzo would re-emerge as a new man himself, connecting on three-pointers at a never before seen rate. And then with the Chicago Bulls, he became the a ringleader for not only one of the best offenses in the NBA, but also one of the top teams in the Eastern Conference. A team that after his injury has completely folded. At every point in his career, when the ball was in his hands, Lonzo Ball proved he was a winner. But now, injuries may have him retiring from the NBA at the young age of 25. How is this possible? Well, shocking. In a recent Josh Hart podcast, Lonzo himself revealed that his pattern of injuries in the league may have been no accident. They may have been linked to the big baller brand shoes he was forced to wear as a young player. The same shoes Lamelo Ball, his younger brother, refused to ever put on in the NBA. But before we continue, guys, I am very excited to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Because it is the summer, which means it is concert season, which means you may have noticed that currently Drake is on tour. Drake. Also Taylor Swift, if that's more your vibe, but I personally am a Drake guy, and I personally am using SeatGeek to secure those Drake tickets. And here's the reason why SeatGeek is hooking us up. If you use my promo code Mike15, you get 15% off of any concert you buy. To be honest, I, I don't see the downside. And the best part about this promo code, the best part about this deal is that in the past, you may have had to be a first time user, but if you've already bought tickets on SeatGeek, that does not matter. Use Mike 15 and you are still going to get 15% off of the first concert you buy this summer. So really, what are you waiting for? The summer is starting to come to a close. Get those tickets now, grab your phone, download SeatGeek, use promo code Mike 15 to get 15% off of your first concert order. That was promo code Mike 15 at SeatGeek. Thank you to SeatGeek for sponsoring today's video. Thank you to SeatGeek for hooking us up. And for now, let's get back into the video. So what's up, Mike here. And today we are diving into what happened to Lonzo Ball, because if we do look at Lonzo's path, he truly was in the best place in his career. But also it feels as if it's almost a bit forgotten how truly incredible Lonzo was. And at this point, I will just say it. Maybe the injuries really just zapped everything here because both the tape and the stats proof young Lonzo was both ahead of his time and 
and a historically great 19 year old teenage prospect. And so starting with the numbers here, in terms of pure on-court production for UCLA in the 2017 season, Lonzo Ball proved, I will stand out on a limb and say proved, that he was a generational prospect at the point guard position. The deeper we dive into Lonzo Ball's stats, the more impressive things become. Yes, he was the top guy and one of the best teams in the country. Yes, he was an All-American as a freshman. And yes, his base numbers were amazing. 14.6 points, 7.6 assists, 6 rebounds, and 1.8 steals a game. All around stats that are almost unseen at this level at this young of an age. While also connecting on 2.2 threes a night on 41% shooting, despite any broken jump shot. And when we compare these numbers to numbers of other Hall of Fame NBA players, we find that Lonzo more than fits in with the game's best. Remember, these are as prospects. And when we pull up a list of current NBA players, we find that when we stack Lonzo's freshman season at UCLA against the elite of the elite, this is only including big conference players, of course, here, to be fair. Lonzo is right here comparing to Chris Paul, Derrick Rose, Kyrie Irving, John Morant, and sorry, Russ, but you struggled. And the thing is, if we dive even deeper, Lonzo's numbers fit in historically. Moving to this list of the top point guards of all time that played for major programs, Lonzo's freshman season is right there with these legends, and here is the absolute shocker. Here is why I believe that it was either confidence or the injuries that did Lonzo Ball in early in his career. Because the difference in Lonzo Ball's game is right here in front of us. His true shooting percentage. This is what separated Lonzo from even the NBA's best ever. It was something we took for granted at the time, but Lonzo was finishing at the rim at an incredibly high rate. He was not only not afraid to take the ball to the basket and jump into people and score, something he seemingly cannot do at the NBA level. But also, Lonzo was dunking on people. He was catching lobs. He was putting up a true shooting percentage that was ridiculous. On two-point shots during his freshman season, Lonzo Ball shot over 70%, finishing third in the nation as a point guard. What? And so if we take a look at the best point guards ever, and we look at their true shooting percentages, we find that Lonzo Ball's ability to score efficiently was at a higher level at this point in time than every single one of these basketball giants. He also, with the game on the line, was not afraid to shoot from 30 plus feet. By the time he got to the NBA, for some reason, he started to doubt himself on wide open threes. So that may be the mental game here. But watching a young Lonzo in high school and in college, his athleticism is very, very apparent. He flies up and down the court. He was able to blow by people and he seemingly had an extra gear that we never saw in the NBA. As a high school senior, Lonzo was a six foot six point guard that had success on a level that was just above his peers. Then in college, it was the same. He was an All-American. He was playing in the Sweet 16. Yeah, Markel went first, but he was playing on a Washington team that did nothing. And then in the NBA Summer League, Lonzo continued continued to be great. He was the NBA Summer League MVP. It seemed like the path was ready for him to become an NBA Hall of Famer. So really, the question remains, what exactly went wrong? Again, I have to say, it may be something mental. Lonzo as a young player was certainly confident in a way that it looked like he was going to be able to handle the pressure of leading an NBA franchise. It looked like he was that guy. Young Lonzo played with swagger, man. He was dropping people and staring at them before he shot threes in their face. Well, I guess not their face, at their lifeless body on the ground. In high school, he was unshakable. He chose his moments, and when he did, they were incredibly meaningful. We never saw that version of him in the league, but we did see it in college. Watch here as he leads a comeback against Oregon. And now the Bruins with ball in transition. All the way. Tyler from Pasadena. Balls three. He's got it. Got clock at four. Ball breaks him down. Gets to the rim. Puts it home. Ball steps back. Long three. A pass. Lonzo Ball has taken over the second half. And Lonzo's battles against De'Aaron Fox were also peak college basketball moments that showed us Lonzo was ready for the spotlight. Do we remember this? Ball three. Right on line. You yeah, can see that ball, can't right. you? 
Unbelievable. Shushing the crowd? Where did this man go? At one point in time, there was a dog in Lonzo. I'm not sure what happened to it. It may be that injuries led to a lot of his confidence going away. It should also be noted that at this point in time, De'Aaron Fox's great play against Lonzo was a talking point for why De'Aaron Fox was suddenly a potential NBA all-star to be. That is how much people respected Lonzo Ball. They were using his game as a benchmark. And then he was the number two pick. And then he was the summer league MVP. And then the Lakers believed in him so much that Magic Johnson actually asked him to leave just one or two of his records. And so what possibly went wrong? Well, there is no 100% answer here for us other than just the injuries or possibly a mental game. But to retire at the age of 25 in 2023 with the modern medicine that we have, well, it certainly makes you question things, right? And I really hope that Lonzo does rebound from this. I really, really hope that. I'm so hopeful that Lonzo is able to take a year off and then come back to basketball healthy. But why are we here? Why is Lonzo potentially retiring at 25? Well, it's very, very possible that Lonzo's body just couldn't handle the NBA. But as for what Lonzo himself is saying, on Josh Hart's podcast, Lonzo said this about his old big baller brand shoes. And this may be the evidence that is needed as to why Lonzo Ball's NBA career has failed so far. No one knows the real story about them shoes, though. Them ZO2s I was playing in, they was not ready. No one knows it, but Demo had a backpack and he had extra like four pairs of shoes in there because I had to switch them every quarter because they would just rip. I'm like, yo, like I'm not playing in them shoes. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care, bro. If you literally have my shoes from those games, like exploded, bro. Like, no, I don't know how I didn't get caught. Why'd you wear them? Just because you guys said like, Cause they're my shoes. And, and you're like, like <laughs> I had, I had and a debut like, on like, I'm like, cool, I can, I can get a quarter in, but that's it. We gotta switch them every quarter. And wow. by the end of that quarter, like mm -hmm. they were beat up. And it's crazy, right? When I switched my shoes and all of a sudden, magically, I got good again. Um, what? Lonzo just said he switched his shoes and magically got good again. Hello? Did we just hear that Lonzo began to rack up injuries as the people around him were clearly way more focused on exploiting him and using his brand and likeness to sell shoes. I'll just use the old, when I was 19 or 20, I wasn't a genius. Lonzo was doing what older people were asking him to do. And also the Lakers were asking him, are your big baller brand shoes injuring you? That is the report. Team officials asked Lonzo if these shoes were hurting him. And Lonzo told them no. Because when we watch the way that Lonzo Ball played in the NBA, despite the the fact that he was just in his young 20s, that explosive nature that once carried his game suddenly just went away completely. And with it went his ability to finish at the rim. Now remember, what always set Lonzo apart was his ability to finish at the basket. Third in the entire NCAA as a guard in two-pointers. As a rookie though, Lonzo shot under 50% at the rim as his explosiveness was gone. His true shooting percentage was also a meager 44%. But here is where this really becomes a tragic story to me because despite these injuries, Lonzo worked his ass off to continue to grow his game and make things work. Yes, his three-point shot was completely broken and he got so much hate for that. That is all anyone could talk about, but did that stop him? No, his three-point shot was completely broken and he fixed it. As a rookie, Lonzo shot just about 30% from three and was booed on so many three-point attempts from Lakers fans. If you're a Lakers fan, do not lie. You booed that man. The real problem though was his finishing. His two-point percentage in college was 73.2%. However, in the NBA, suddenly he shot just 42% on twos. Was this mental? Was this due to his broken shot form? Or was it his horrible shoes and the injuries that followed? I am sure that confidence played a factor here, but I'm also sure that Lonzo lost real athleticism. However, again, Lonzo never let this stop him. While his legs allowed him to play basketball, he continued to improve as a player and by the 2022 season, Lonzo was not only shooting 61% at the rim, but also he had risen his true shooting percentage up to 57 and a half. An enormous change, especially when we consider the fact that his knees were only getting worse and worse and he was on the verge of getting to the point where he's at right now, possibly needing to retire at the age of 25. And so I will end this video by just saying Lonzo Ball in the past has proven that he will work, that basketball is his passion that he will do whatever it takes to get out there and so i am hopeful i am very hopeful that extra time off the court does end up 
saving his career and we do end up getting Lonzo Ball back. NBA players have true respect for Lonzo Ball's game. I just hope we get to see it again. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you do not miss any video like this one. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much for supporting. You're awesome. We all know it. And as always, have an awesome day and cue that music. If you're still here while the music is cued, here are two videos I think you are definitely going to enjoy. I mean, personally, I think the one on the left might be more your style, but the one on the right looks pretty awesome too. Click one, let me know what you think. And again, have an awesome day.